YouTube on? Yeah. Insta on, Facebook on. Guys and girls, we're coming to you live. Here we are. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube. Hello to everyone. No matter where you're looking on, I'm going to wait for this audience to build up. I am so pumped today. We have got a real estate rant. Yes, if you're not in real estate, you can watch it because it does have a very strong sales focus. Must I say modern sales focus. This is the real estate rant to help you survive and thrive in a world of real estate chaos. What's happening in real estate? We've got prices that are dropping. Vendors are hoping to get prices of yesteryear. We've got real estate agents totally confused on how to use social media. They go off and they post various things, but none of it has a very clear strategic intent for lead generation, sales creation, and creating listing appraisals. In addition to that, guys and girls, I'm telling you, the dialogue and language that's being used has now expired. You need to start talking 2018-19 language. Hello to everyone. If you've got salespeople or colleagues, tag them in, bring them in. I'm putting my neck on the line and I'm going to say to you, this is going to be one of the most impactful 20 minutes of your life. In fact, may I say to you, the next 20 minutes may alter your business life for good. May I say to you, this may be the best 20 minutes of your life. So gang, let's move into this. And why are we doing this? Because I have noticed there are real estate agents that are leaving the industry. The pain has set in. The commission schemes aren't coming like they used to. Hello to everyone. Hello, Taney. Hello to everyone coming on here. Hello, William. Hello, Stephen. Hello to you all on YouTube. Good day, everyone. So gang, let's move in. The first thing I want you to understand, guys and girls, right now, in fact, there was a legal case, and I'm not going to go into that legal case, there was a legal case about data moving with a salesperson to a new office, and this is a serious issue, guys and girls. Your employment contract now highly dictates your behavior, and I want to touch on this topic right now. Every real estate agent that is operating should have a contract. Now, I'm going to say to you, listen to me carefully. If you're serious about a real estate career long term, your real estate employment contract should look at looking at having a model of becoming an independent contractor. I'll repeat the words again. You should look at becoming an independent contractor. And the reason why is the following. Number one, do you realize when you set up an entity and you become an independent contractor, you will take advantage of better taxation laws? Let me give you an idea. The current company tax rate in Australia is 27.5%. Right? Think about it. 27.5%. Now, let's have a look at what personal tax rates are. If you're earning over $180,000 a year, you're paying 45% tax. Look at the numbers, guys and girls. 45% versus 27.5%. Do you understand what the consequences are? Not only that, if you're an independent contractor, when you start at an office, you are basically like having your own real estate business within the business. So that means you're not going to be under pressure saying, hey, you left here, you appraised this property, it's our listing. So guys and girls, because this is a serious matter, I've been engaging the best person I know in the business in real estate commission employment contracts. And I have got a video that is going to be made available to the real estate gym members that talks about how you can change your model and get the best real estate model for your employment there is. And I'm also going to let you know, don't get bluffed. If someone's put in their agreement that you can't work within three kilometers of the office after you leave, that's absolute bullshit. 
Get your own legal advice, but I'm going to tell you, you cannot be prohibited. You cannot be prohibited to make a living. But guys and girls, I am not going to spend, I am not going to spend this whole rant talking about it. Real estate gym members, next week, we are going to go through the whole model and I'm going to build you a template on what your contract model should look like. This is serious stuff that affects your revenue. Why? It's not your turnover, it's your leftover. Put that down, Susan, as a comment. It's leftover, not turnover. And there's too many real estate agents leaving money on the table. So let's move on. And I want you to understand that next week, tune in where we're going to talk about it. That's for real estate gym members. Second thing I want to talk to you about today is this. A text message. Now, Susan, have I got this text message? Is it there? That's a text message there. Compliments of one of our real estate gym members. Shane Beaumont. What a gun. Million dollar. Over one million dollar agent. What's his average price? Out in Perth somewhere? Like about three, four hundred thousand? Mate, the guy makes 90 sales a year. And he said to me, Tom, share it with the audience. Share it with the audience. This is a text message that he sends out on the appropriate properties that are creating offers. Because haven't you worked it out? You're not going to be getting offers unless you ask for them. The market no longer creates the deals. You've got to do it. Don't you see what's happening? Buyers are reading the paper. Prices are going to keep dropping. There's a royal inquiry into banks. There's a federal election. They're talking about getting rid of negative gearing. This is what the buyers are listening to. Guys and girls, it's time to go pro. It's time for you to get serious about it because I'll tell you what, if you don't, if you don't help sell someone else, they sell their house, you're going to lose your house as Charles Tarby says. So here's the text message. Number 27 Smith Street has had an offer written and I will be sitting with the owners tonight to discuss in further detail. I was just seeing if you had further interest in the property as I'm updating owners on current interest and feedback. Feel free to call should you require any information. Then in bold writing, this property will be sold. Now guys and girls, if you're not on things like Home Pass or automated text messages, I'm telling you, you've got to start doing it. You've got to actually understand what worked five years ago is not working anymore. And I don't care. Like you say, oh, you know, tech's not my thing. I've got my own little business. I've got my own way. You know what? The marketplace doesn't care about what your little way is at the moment. So guys and girls, and I want to let you know, we've got lots of templates and text messages that our real estate gym members are using. And by the way, if you're really serious about it, what you're going to be doing is doing things like Michael Burgio says, try call. Now, all my gym members know that I occasionally send out a message with my voice and that hits your voicemail. It hits your voicemail. And you know what that does? It's a personal touch and it sounds as if I have called you. Now, what if, what if you had a try call message going to your buyers with this sort of stuff? This is what you need, guys and girls. Let's move on. Strategy number three. Number three, you've got to create a Facebook page that is a lifestyle page. This is what's working in real estate. It's a community page. And I'm going to urge people to look. Again, I'm going to use Shane Beaumont. I'm going to use Shane Beaumont. And those of you that are in Perth, you're going to see Shane Beaumont uh, on uh, Perth the 18th of February. 18th of February, we're coming. The real estate gym is coming to Perth. And I'm also going to feature him there. Now, guys and girls, by the way, if you're a real estate gym member, you don't pay $200 to go to an important event. You don't pay $300. No, 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 no. If you're a real estate gym member, you are the only people that are allowed to go to these events. You pay $39. That's one of the benefits of being a gym member. You're going to be paying, and I'm making this undertaking, Susan. If we ever open up the doors to non-gym members to come to gym workshops, they will have to pay a minimum of five times the price of a gym member. That's on record, Susan. Five times they will pay. So $39, work it out. 
Five times 39, Susan, what's that? They're going to have to pay close to $200. Now, maths wasn't a good subject for you, was it, Susan? Susan's sitting at opposite me, right? And I said to her, what's five times 39? And she looked very perplexed. Now, Susan, my understanding was that people of Asian origin were normally good at maths and science. But not this Susan. She was good at English and history. Not this Susan. She wanted to be a rapper. Susan didn't want to become a scientist or a doctor. No, she wanted to become a vegan yoga business manager. And she made a great decision, guys and girls. Anyway, guys and girls, so let's talk about this Facebook lifestyle page. What am I talking to you about there? Hello, YouTube. Yes, we love you too. We love everyone. Love is the answer. And that's not saying it in a cliche way, but at the end of the day, if you've got a choice between love and hate, Mark Novak says it's time for a rap. Susan, no. You know why? Susan prepares for the rap, Mark. She doesn't just come here and does her fucking thing, right? She prepares for it. Anyway, let's go. Susan, can I have some water? Hydration. Mm. Guys, check out the page. Lost Gosnells. G-O-S-N-E-L-L-S. That is an example of a page, my friends, that actually gets traction. That, my friends, there was a post. Shane Beaumont again. 72 shares the other day. That's right. 72 shares. Now he has the community wanting to put stuff on his page, which is a geographic page. It's the name of a suburb in his area. Guys and girls, I'm saying to you, you should become the eco center of your community. Create a Facebook page that is either geographic, call it a suburb, Leichhardt, or call it, um, let's call it uh, Inner West Federation Homes, or let's call it a surface paradise beachside apartments or let's call it eastern suburbs mansions what you want to do is become the niche expert on this page and you are going to become a content curator as well as a content creator and this page is going to become a source for people now guys and girls listen to me very carefully what i'm saying to you is you got to create a lifestyle page Let's move on to the next one. Number four, the language that we're using has totally changed, guys and girls. I'm beginning, like, for instance, let me tell you what the old world in prospecting was. You get someone that would go knock on a door. Hi, it's Tom here. I just wanted to see whether, you know, you're interested in us giving you an assessment on the value of your home. I'm your local agent. That's the old model interrupting someone who's time poor, who's socially media savvy, and who doesn't like real estate agents. Let me just show you what the new agent is doing with door knocking. This is taking a cold call and making it a smart call. Hi, I know you're not selling and I'm gonna be brief. My name's Tom and I'm from the real estate agent up the road. Tomorrow at 10 o'clock, we're doing an appraisal on a property down the road. Since I'm doing the work anyway, would you like me to flick a report for your property while I'm at it? Bang! High success rate. Why? Because it makes it easy for people to say yes. You're not creating an obligation. I'm doing it anyway up the road for the people tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Would you like me to flick your report while I'm at it? Sure, great. Watch your email. Great, fantastic. Lisa Novak loves it. If Lisa loves it, I love it. So guys and girls, that's an example. Vendor dialogue, right? Right now, let's face it, you've got vendors that are overpriced. They think they've got the best looking kid, right? They think that they've got the best house. And I think what you've got to start doing is start using intelligent language and say to them, like if you've got a vendor that's overpriced, why don't you sit down with them and say this, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, can I ask you, if you were a buyer and you were buying this house, what would you change about it? Guys and girls, that question helps a vendor realize 
that there is things that aren't perfect about the property and it makes them dwell on them and it makes them think about them and it makes a vendor understand, hey, it's not perfect at the end of the day. And I'm saying to you right now that you've got buyers. I'm seeing it all weekend on Saturday. I have to say to you, at the end of the day, yesterday, I sold zero properties at auction. However, there was a few properties sold afterwards and gang, let me tell you some of the language. You know what buyers are saying now in Sydney and Melbourne and in other areas? Oh, the market hasn't bottomed yet. They still think there's five or 10% to go. What's your response to a buyer? Listen to me carefully, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer. Can I ask you, how will you know the market's bottomed? Think about it. The only way you know that the market is bottomed is when the market actually goes up a little bit. But by that stage, it will not be the bottom and you won't be buying at the bottom because it'll be too late. Not only that, when the market goes up a little bit, you won't be looking at this house. Think about it. When there's a market going up, there's less stock. That's what's causing the market to slightly go up, demand and supply. Not only that, this won't be the property you'll be looking at. You'll be getting something else. When the market starts going up, interest rates go up, which means you pay more for your money. So I think a better question is not whether the market has bottomed now. A better question you've got to ask yourself is this. Are you going to make a decision on buying a home for your family based on the market or based on your life. Guys and girls, I'm letting you know that in the real estate gym, we have packed it in with 24 new scripts and dialogues. And you know how obsessed I am about telling the truth efficiently. And I'm saying to you, scripts and dialogues are like milk and bread. They have an expiry date. And I'm saying to you, what worked yesterday is not working today. And what's working today is not working tomorrow. It's time that you actually speak language the way that Federer hits a tennis ball. It's time that you actually speak language and use dialogue the way that uh, Ronaldo kicks a soccer ball. You get paid for what you say. Get clear, get concise, and understand. Never use a thousand words when 50 will do. Let's move on. The next thing I've noticed, guys and girls, is this. That social media, like, you know, think about it. Right now, I've told you about a strategy, like, you know, having a lifestyle page, but take it from a guy. I mean, have a look at this video, right? Watch this video tomorrow. It's gonna have 15,000 views on it, right? 15,000 organic views. Have a look at it already. We've got 300 people live on here right now. Guys and girls, do me a favor. You know how much it matters to me. You see that, you know, I'm giving you good content. I'm not offending anyone. I'm not using any really nasty words that's gonna make little people cry. So do us a button, press that share button, share the love, tag someone in your office that needs to hear it, because I'm saying to you that in addition to that, I'm saying to you right now, guys and girls, Tane Jane, there's a guy, this guy's a gun, one of my favorite real estate agents. Man, this guy here, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 million dollars, and he keeps saying to me, Tom, it's all because of the real estate gym, that's it. I just go off and I copy and duplicate everything you say, I use, and by the way, we've got a My Prospector competition. What does he do, Susan? He gets two of his members straight away, join in, join the competition. Why? Because they're trying to win it. They're trying to do 500 calls for a week for the next four weeks. Now, God, and by the way, Tanae Jane was the last winner, was he? No, the second last winner. He won the third last winner. He won the first competition. Tanae Jane, when he was nobody. When Tanae Jane was nobody. And today, he's a gun Eric speaker. And Kylie Charlton, she's another great real estate gym member. By the way, you were fantastic at that conference the other week. Guys, hello Emil. Anyway, let's move on. Facebook. Hey, I'm going to show you how I got to 35,000 people as likes. There's a strategy there. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you... So Susan, you know what we're going to do next week? We're going to do in the real estate gym a 45-minute master digital class. This is what we're going to cover. 
how to grow your business page to get it to 20,000. I will show you what to do. Don't listen to anyone that doesn't have likes already. If they had likes, right, they'd be able to talk about it. But you know what? Imposters. Hey, this is how to do it. Well, why don't you do it on your own, right? I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm also going to explain to you how to use Rate My Agent and rating sites because we do live in a world where consumers listen to other consumers. Whether it's food, whether it's holidays, whatever decision you make, we must accept it. Consumerism is all about, it's not what you say to the market, it's what other consumers talk to other consumers about. So I'm gonna to talk to you about that. In addition to that, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to produce video content. Like if I could show you my setup here right now, I'm gonna show you how to produce real estate content using $250 and a simple mobile phone. That's what I use, guys and girls. If I showed you my light, if I showed you my mic, if I showed you my stands, if I just showed you everything I've got here, and that's what we're gonna do, Susan. We are gonna do a digital masterclass where I'm gonna cover everything next week. Let's move on. Let's talk about real estate models for a moment. For me, there are four real estate models in the marketplace. Let's go through them. Number one, there is what I call the no team team. The no team team. This is where you don't have a team, where you're on your own. The no team team. And what do I think about the no team team? I think it's a good start. I think it's a good start. And I think if you work for a real estate office that gives you a level of support, you can actually do without a team member for a longer period than an office that gives you no team support. But I think if you wanna go pro, if you wanna treat this like a profession and not like this part-time participation, see how it goes, give real estate a crack and see how it works out for me. No, 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 no. You gotta go in with no plan B. You gotta go in with no get out clause. You gotta go in with every reason why it's gonna work and not one reason why it won't work. I'm telling you, you're gonna to have to move on and look at working within a team in an office. So. Here are the teams. The no team team, that's one person. Then you've got what I call the family business team. This is a very common model in real estate. No one really talks about it too much, but this is a model where you have family members, where you have family members that are part of your team. And you know what? Loyalty and character can mean that this business becomes a very strong, successful team, right? You know why? Because you hire for character and you train for skill. And family is loyalty. And you know what? Guys and girls, I know I use a lot of colorful language, but I've got to tell you, family for me is number two. Number one, spirituality. Number two, family. You're talking to a guy, it's been married for 26 years, Try to bring up two daughters. Hey, listen, I'm not perfect in many ways. Dysfunctional. Dysfunctional husband. Dysfunctional father. But you know what? I'm doing better yesterday than the day before. And today I'm doing better than yesterday. And you know what I notice as my life goes by? Each day I feel I'm getting less wrong. Guys and girls, listen to me about the third model. It's the customer team model. You know what that model's like, Susan? It's where everyone can do a little bit of everything. So what happens is the customers always win out because you've got someone that can actually help the customer. When you're on holidays, someone can actually look after the customer, right? And this model does work as well. And then the last one is the marketing team. This is where you've got a head agent, but it's a business that is very much about high-end marketing. And you normally see it in prestige luxury marketplaces where they've got you know, a community social manager, they've got you know, someone that is totally dedicated to just marketing, right? So they're the different models. Now here's the deal. My issue that I notice with most real estate agents 
they do not know how to do the following. They don't know how to create roles descriptions. They don't know how to create a position description. They don't know how to play a remuneration scheme. They don't know how to pay someone. They don't know how to pay them a commission. They don't know how to keep people accountable. They don't know how to have a proper meeting. They don't know how to have a one-on-one -on -one with them. They don't know how to actually set guidelines. They don't know how to set up KPIs. And that is what you're gonna be getting in the real estate gym. Guys and girls, you need this information. PAs don't have mental telepathy. Let's move on to number six, surviving and thriving in a world of chaos, lead generation. Think about it. Outflow equals inflow. That's right. Outflow, inflow. Outreach, enrich. What goes out comes in. And the new lead generation method Here's how it works. Like, I'll give you an example. You create a lead magnet. You create a product that keeps your clients up at night because it's something that stresses them out. And then what you do is you put this lead magnet on social media and on websites. And then people contact you to get this lead magnet. The lead magnet is simply a document, like example, what will the West Connects do to the value of your home? Is your home a potential development site worth millions of dollars? Um, what will the new council rules mean for the price of your house, right? So you create a lead document, then you create inflow traffic coming in, and then what you do is you use a sales funnel to convert that for listing presentations. This is the world that we live in. So I want you to understand that you can't rely on a sales model that is high pressure, cold calling, when in the new world that we live in, it's about being intelligent, compassionate, and understanding guys and girls that when people contact you, it is far better than you contacting them. So gang, I'm letting you know that in the real estate gym, we've got a webinar in there that shows you how to create a lead magnet, where to put it up, and all the letters that come with it. So gang, let's move on to number seven, the mindset. So what do I know at the moment about real estate agents? This is what I know. I was talking to a car dealer, Verinian Motors that sell prestige cars, Porsches, Beamers, Range Rovers, and he said to me today, Tom, why have real estate agents stopped buying nice cars in the last six to 12 months? Why? Yeah, because they're not making the money they used to, guys and girls. And you know what's happening? They're making a bad day look like a bad year. Here's the pocket square, by the way. This is the pocket square that Gav Rubenstein. Can I just let you know that this pocket square, guys and girls, see this? This Tom Ford pocket square is worth more than my jacket, than my t-shirt, and my trousers put together. That's right. But not Does worth it... more than your soul. But not worth more than my soul. Well said, Susan. That's very profound. That's, this is why I don't know how to do simple maths. Susan, can I ask you a question? You are shit at maths, right? Science? Why does this have, we just, this is just. By the way, everyone, action. I'm gonna post a photo of Susan. Have you ever seen when a Chinese girl bleaches her hair? Have you ever seen the Asian girl that bleaches her hair? Well, I've got a school photo where Susan in a nice school uniform, that little radical girl that bleached her hair. Wow. Did you, can I ask you a question, Susan? Did you, did you smoke drugs when you were brought up at school? No. Did you smoke a cigarette at school? No. No. Did you drink at your school dance? No. No. Did you have a boyfriend from year seven to year 12? No. Um, did you, how many hours did you used to study, Susan? Not that many. Not that many. Um, so Susan, can I ask you, what age were you when you kissed your first boy? What does this have to do with 
do with the real estate rant? You don't want to talk about it. How does this help real estate? This has got nothing to do with the real estate rant. She's right. But I just needed a bit of a break. And I'm pumped again because we're talking about mindset. You know what it is? You know what the problem with real estate agents are? I'll tell you what they do. They go from the heights of exhilaration to the depths of depression. They go from highs to darkness. They go to life's good. I'm pumped to, hey, I want to kill myself. That's what they do. And you know why? Because they don't know energy management. Energy management is business management, guys and girls. I'm saying this to you right now, that many of you also have this fundamental problem with prospecting. It's this big sickness. I know I need to do it. I hate it. I don't want to do it. I should do it. I don't know where to start. Who do I call? Oh, no. I've got an addicted to distraction. Help me. Let's go get a cup of coffee. I don't do my prospecting. This is what's going on. It's a roller coaster ride in real estate, right? This is what's happening. Why? Because you start at the start of every month and there's a gun in your head that says, go get listings or you will not eat. Man, think about it. Like Mr. Steve Georgiakis, Dr. Georgiakis that tunes in here, he's a doctor at Sydney University. He doesn't have that pain. He can go to university, he does his lectures, he speaks to his students and he gets paid. But in real estate, you've got a gun to your head. It says, get listings, get sales. And I've got to tell you, you need to have someone in your corner because real estate can be lonely and it can be really hard. And in very dark periods, it can be very, 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 very depressing. So guys and girls, one of the things with the real estate gym that I do is I know that you've got to be on track, not just two days at ARIC, not just at a training course. You need to be on track 365, and that's what we do. We make sure that you start the day with an on-track message. Guys and girls, I want to finish off here. Susan, what are we doing? It's the day! Guess what? We're opening the real estate gym tonight. Yes, it's called a marketing initiative. We talk about it, and then we let you know the doors have been locked. So here's the deal. Susan has put it in there, realestategym.com.au. If you join, we are giving you all of the remainder of this year free and you'll have a membership till the 1st of January 2019. And may I add to you, to, sorry, 1st of January 2020, you get one year and two months. And not only that, let me announce some of the mentors that we have. Adrian Bowe, Cindy Kennedy, Dane Atherton, David Ding, David Highland, Dr. Fred Gross, Gavin Rubenstein, Georgie Bates, James Tostevin, Jennifer Carr, John McGrath, Kate Strickland, Maria and Manos Findakakis, Matt Lancashire, Michael Clark, Michelle Kerr, Peter Clements, Phil Harris, Rick Rushton, Ruma Mundy, Sonia Trelaw, Spiro Drossus, Tommy Hector, Vivian Yap, Zaley Reynolds, they're your mentors, and not only that, the Real Estate Gym kickstarts Sydney on the 13th of February, Melbourne on the 14th of February, Perth on the 18th of February, Adelaide on the 19th of February, Auckland on the 21st of February. That comes with your Real Estate Gym membership and you get the journal, count the journal, Susan, you get one of these, a success journal, guys and girls, yes. And guess what this all costs? How much, Susan? $65 a month. Do the numbers. That's like three coffees a week. Yes, guys and girls, it is a product that allows you to be working on tablet, mobile phone, or desktop 24-7. You want to drive and listen? You can do it. You want to watch on your mobile phone when you're on a couch? You can do it. Guys and girls, I'm telling you, there are thousands of real estate gym members that send me messages all the time saying to me, Tom, that letter, that text, that email, that webinar changed my life. Guys and girls, I think that you know deep down that's amazing value. So go to realestategym.com.au. Susan, have you got the link there? It's pinned and I look forward to seeing you. It's open for the next three days, four days, four days plus today, five days. Okay, guys and girls, realestategym.com.au. The doors are closing. This is for 2019. 
um, and the remainder of this year. I want to thank you so much. I want to also let you know, guys and girls, that today was a sad day for me. Today, my friends, was my brother's 90 days. Correct. It was my brother's 90 days. And I have to tell you, it made me very sad. It's been 90 days since George died. It's been 90 days. And you know what? I'm trying to look at positives out of each thing. And during the week, someone contacted me. They met up with me and had a coffee. And they basically broke down crying within two minutes, telling me that they had also lost their brother. And I have to tell you, one of the things that I've learned is this that suffering teaches you compassion. That's the gift that was badly wrapped in this situation. If you're, I want you to, before we go, listen here. Good human beings that happen to be real estate agents are the ones that smash it. Not a real estate agent that goes to a seminar that hears you've got to become a good person. And I'm telling you straight, I don't want nasty people that do training to make money. I think successful people are good human beings that just happen to be a real estate agent. That's what I think it is. And I actually think that a bad person that's trained is just a bad person that's trained. Ultimately, what I'm looking for is this, good, real human beings that wanna be shown recipes to succeed, want to feel like they've got someone in their corner that they see on visual, on audio, that they're actually seeing face to face and that they're in a community together. And I'm telling you straight, if you're a dickhead, don't join the gym because you'll feel like a dickhead when I speak to you, right? But if you're a good person that just wants scripts, dialogues, techniques, methodologies, wants a kick up the bum every so often, wants a bit of accountability, and most importantly, wants a tool like my prospector, which keeps you accountable because what you measure, you manage, and you get that free in the real estate gym. That's in your gym. You put your name on there and only you can see it, right? It's a self-management prospecting tool. So guys and girls, I wanna thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Let go, let God, God bless.